I'm going to demonstrate some lower face and neck Botox today. I'm going to show you some of the muscles that pull down, that relaxing these muscles that pull down actually can help give a little bit more strength to the muscles that pull up. It's almost a non-surgical facelift with Botox. We're going to start with the muscles that pull the corners of the mouth down. I'm going to show you how to judge whether this is going to benefit somebody to relax these muscles. And Jeannie, my model here, is going to put up with putting, going through these expressions on video to show us how to judge where these muscles are. But Jeannie, can you go ahead and pull your corners down if you can? Perfect. See these dimpled areas in here? This is the depressor muscle belly. And go ahead and relax. It's usually pretty much along the line of the nasal labial fold, just above the mandible. And I usually inject two to four units on each side. So what we'll do is go ahead and pull down. Good. Then relax, and then we'll put one, two, three, a little injection. I tend to come in from the side a little bit diagonally because I just want to make sure that I miss that vein that's usually right in that area and the muscles underneath the lips there. So next we're going to do the mentalis muscle where people will get some cobblestone chin. They get all the little dimpling in their chin just from continuing mentalis contractions over time. Also, people get a mental crease there, which they don't like. That crease that goes right across here, it's sometimes a little difficult to fill because it becomes so indented with, with contraction. Um, Jeannie, go ahead. Let's see how you good. That's perfect. You see what a strong mentalis muscle she has, and that over time, some of these dimpling air, dimpled areas would become permanent. And then go ahead and relax. That was good. You could hold it for so long. So injecting into the mentalis, same thing I, as the DAOs, I use two to four units per injection. And what I do is just put one on each side of the body, the mentalis, and I'll count to three and one, two, three. And then one, two, three. And with that, that will soften up this area and yet not affect her speech. Next, what I'm going to do is try to tighten up the jawline appearance by relaxing the cords of the neck, of the platysma, as they come up right along the jawline there, producing the jowl. Go ahead, Jeanine, give me a side contraction of your neck, kind of a bullfrog. You can localize the muscle, and then go ahead and relax just by having someone make the expression and then kind of pinching the muscle. While you're holding on to the muscle, you can inject two to four units. Just a little pinch. Right up just below the angle of the mandible, I'm going to put four units in. And if someone has a wide cord at this area, sometimes you put four side by side at the top of the cord. It just helps to localize it by feeling it between your fingers so you know you're right at the level of the platysma since it is such a thin muscle.